Hello guys, I hope you're all doing great. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. Now, before I get started with this review, I just want to have a quick talk about something. Um, if you looked at my previous video yesterday, uh, you'll see that I had a picture of uh, Sam Smith on there. And uh, uh, I think it was a Paul Coralam joint next to him. And Sam Smith's wear, like, wearing some ridiculous outfit. And uh, it resembles this uh, joint of meat, whether it be pork or lamb in question. And, uh, you know, so uh, Bean is, is kind of trying to clone the uh, lamb chop or whatever it may be, uh, pork joint, whatever it may be. Um, yeah, I thought Bean is a beer in question, what I was reviewing was an Aldi clone beer. I thought I'd uh, have a bit of fun and use that on the thumbnail. thumbnail. And uh, I had some guy tear into me on Facebook about it earlier. And I found the whole thing quite amusing, but at the same time, it made me think like, what is this world coming to? I mean, number one, I'm sure if Sam Smith doesn't want people to talk about him and doesn't want them to use his pictures and stuff, he won't be taking pictures like that. He's a celebrity. Anything he does is gonna be in the limelight. People are gonna talk about it. People are gonna discuss it, right? So uh, the guy says to me, oh, you're a, uh, body shaming, why are you body shaming Sam Smith? And I said to him, well, he's chose to put that image out there. He's worn that ridiculous outfit. You know, he's going to be judged and I'm entitled to judge it how I want to judge it, right? Um, anyway, I said to him, right, body shaming him. I'm one, one, I'm also a guy like Sam Smith. I'm also a big guy, I'm a lot fatter than Sam Smith is. So, uh, yeah, I'm hardly one to body shame anyone, you know, just having a bit of a laugh. And uh, he sort of says, oh, OK, OK. And uh, I said, yeah, I said to the guy, I said, yeah, he, uh, uh, he's a fat man like me. And then this really uh, uh, went the guy up way more than the Sam Smith picture and the joint of me. He goes to me, what do you mean he is a fat man like you? I said, yeah, he, you're Sam Smith. And he was like oh my God, you purposely just um, referred to Sam Smith. Oh, what word did he use? It was like, a, I purposely uh, mistaked his uh, gender. I'm like, what do you mean? He's, he's a bloke, he's, you know, same as me, fat bloke like me. And he said, I didn't know this, but apparently he, he wants to be referred to as them or they or whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, so this guy took offense to the fact that I called Sam Smith, who is a male, a he. Now, he may want to be uh, known as uh, them or they or whatever. That's fine if that's what he wants. But I want to call a boy a boy and a girl a girl. And scientifically, he is a boy. Uh, so that's what I go by. I go by the science. I don't go by what people say they want to be. Otherwise, you know, where's it, where's it going to end? Well, you just got to get people saying, oh, like 18 year olds saying, oh, I identify as a pensioner, so uh, I don't have to go to work and I can, uh, you know, get me pension money. Or, you know, I identify as a millionaire, give me millions of pounds. You know, where, when's it going to end? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I personally I see a boy as a boy and a girl as a girl, whether they've had operations done or whatever. To me, if they were born a boy, they're a boy. And uh, that's just the way I see it. That's just, you know, perhaps we're brought up in a different generation. You've got craziness going on now. All my kids are at school and like everybody seems to be something or something else and everybody gets offended so easily. And uh, yeah, it's just doing my head in. It's just, just to let you all know, I will be having jokes on my thumbnails. I don't mean it to offend anybody. If I'm reviewing an Indian beer, I might have images of India in the background or I might even put a turban on myself. It's all just a bit of light-hearted fun. You know, if I'm reviewing a, it could be anything, you know, I'll quite happily take, take the piss out of myself. You know, it's just a bit of light-hearted fun. So if you don't like that, I suggest you watch another channel uh, because I'm not going to stop being me and doing what I want to do. And uh, yeah, that's just my sense of humour. I don't mean to offend anybody. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about offending anybody. I'm just going to do me. And the people that like me will continue to watch. And the people that don't, won't. And that's the end of that. Anyway, uh, sorry if you really don't want to know about all that. I just felt like sharing it and sort of saying my piece. 
Anyway, for this review, we've got, uh, that's probably more interesting uh, than a brew dog beer. Anyway, let's face it, a little bit of a rant. <laughs> we've got brew dogs uh, lost in guava beer. Now this is the third, no, fourth uh, variety of this beer I've reviewed. What, uh, one being like the plain one and the others just being very different flavors. I think was light gin, one was light gin lime, the other one was uh, blood orange. Uh, let's just say they weren't great. The original one wasn't too bad. Just the standard lost lager without all the added stuff wasn't too bad. Let's see how this one compares. It's 4.5% ABV, same as the others. It's a 440 ml can. And uh, this was very kindly gifted to me, the same as the other ones. Uh, but this will be an honest review. Uh, it certainly didn't affect my scoring on the other reviews. And I did feel quite bad, as it, almost as if I was ungrateful for the gift. But, you know, I have to be honest in my reviews. And I, I think the last one, I gave it a very, very low score. I felt bad, but I had to be honest, it's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, it's a... Uh, Crack on with it. As I said with the other ones, particularly the ones where they had the fruit, I just think it's just a really uh, unimaginative way to get another beer on the shelf for Brewdog, really, isn't it? You know, just chucking different flavourings and then call it lost in whatever flavour you've added to it. It's just laziness, it really is. And certainly, uh, their beer's going downhill and this is uh, these have been really bad attempts uh, to... Uh, Add to their range, let's say. Anyway, let's uh, get it in the glass, shall we? Looking like kind of a uh, pale straw sort of colour. Looks the same as the others, identical. With maybe a slight, slight little haze in there. It could just be cold haze. It's been sitting in the uh, fridge for a while because I haven't been looking forward to doing it, to be fair quite low level levels of carbonation for a lager not always a bad thing yes yeah, it just doesn't look great let's be fair it doesn't look great let's have a whiff i can smell the guava this one smells the best out of the other two flavors that i tried without doubt uh they were both really powerful, uh, particularly the, uh, I think it was the orange one. This one actually smells a bit like the um, the hazy guava, the hazy Jane guava one. And if it tastes like that, it'll be a step up from the other ones, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna taste like that. But again, you, you're not smelling any, uh, I'm not smelling any malt or nothing else. I'm just literally smelling guava. It smells like fruity, juicy guava. Doesn't smell as artificial as the other ones, so that could be a, a good sign. Maybe it will score a little bit better. Anyway, guys, let's get it down the neck. Cheers, guys. Bosh, going in. Okay, first impressions of this beer. It's better than the other two. For me, uh, this is by far the best version of these range of uh, Brewdog beers, the Lost in Guava. It's 100% better than the uh, Light Chain Lime, and it's definitely better than the Blood Orange as well. Because I mentioned in the other reviews how this artificial flavouring they put in them, it's like they put tons of it in. And I, I mentioned that I think it'd be better if it was like, instead of Lost in Blood Orange, for example, uh, like lost lager with a hint of blood orange i said i think it would be better this is more of a hint of guava rather than a full-on overpowering guava but it is still kind of masking anything else really going on it's still rather watery it's drinkable though i don't like the way they just add these artificial flavors but it is more tasty, it is more refreshing, and it is more drinkable than the other ones. It's very light bodied, you're getting a, a little sweetness from the guava fruit. It's quite watery. In all honesty though, if you're a fan of Brewdog, then you like guava. Although this is better than the other ones, it's still not good. You're better off getting Hazy Jane Guava. Uh, you really are. Uh, 
this is better. This tastes like Hazy Jane Guava, uh, just been 50-50 uh, mixed with water. It's just really watery. It's, you know, despite it being better than the other two, it's really not hard to be better than something that's just dreadful, is it really? Yeah, it's all just a, a bit tasteless, apart from that hint of guava in there. And the flavouring is clearly some sort of uh, artificial flavouring or concentrate. It's not coming from the hops. But there is something a bit refreshing about this one. And it, it doesn't taste horrible. The last one actually tasted disgusting. This one, you know, it's not disgusting. But I can't see these sticking around for very long. I really can't, I don't think they're gonna sell well. And I have noticed the supermarkets selling them extremely cheap. And it really don't surprise me. Anyway, as far as score goes, that's the one will go. I'll go for a four point, no. I'll go for a 5.2, 5.2 out of 10. Well, this is just not good. You know, it's the best one of the three uh, that have the flavouring, but that's really not saying much at all, guys. I would 100% not bother with these. Don't waste your money. Go and get something better. Uh, whatever price is at, I just personally wouldn't bother. Uh, thank you all very much for tuning in, guys. Sorry about my little rant at the beginning there, but you know, sometimes you just got to get these things out in you. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, guys, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever stage you're at. Bye-bye, darlings.